the mysteries of ancient Egypt with a recent discovery. Human and animal mummification workshops were recently unearthed, along with a pair of tombs in the ancient burial ground of Saqqara. Archaeologists in Egypt have unsealed a massive black sarcophagus, a huge coffin found at a construction site in Alexandria. Some have been wondering if it might reveal the body of Alexander the Great or unleash a deadly curse. Gail McClellan reports. Egypt is a land of surprises hidden beneath and waiting to be undiscovered for thousands of years. And shockingly, one of these was disclosed when at the construction site of the Alexandria excavation, a strange thing was discovered. The Alexandria excavation is known for digging out the old broken pipes and stones, but this time they encountered such a strange thing hidden inside a massive black coffin. What have these archaeologists found? Upon knowing this, everyone became shocked to realize that the history will be changed forever something extraordinary that may defy all odds in modern times. Earth has much more to be unsealed. This jaw-dropping discovery is now raising questions about human knowledge regarding the Earth. Join us as today, we are revealing 17 most shocking discoveries that came to light while digging out ordinary land. Last week, a construction crew found dinosaur bones in Highlands Ranch, and today we were lucky enough to get exclusive access to that dig site. No 17, the million-year-old fossil. On a bright day of the 21st of March, 2011, Sean Funk, an equipment operator, was present at the Millennium Mine in Alberta, Canada. As the excavator's massive arm crashed into the earth, a jarring crack echoed through the site. Funk's breath caught in his throat, and then, as the dust began to settle, a glimmer of something extraordinary caught his eye. Emerging from the debris was a perfectly preserved fossil, a massive dinosaur vertebra, likely from a long extinct sauropod, its smooth contours glistening in the morning light. Funk had realized the creature was frozen in time. Further research claimed that this remarkable specimen was over 150 million years old. It stood as a testament to an ancient world that once thrived beneath their feet. The vertebra, encased in a bed of sediment, exhibited intricate details, the texture of its surface resembling the rough bark of an ancient tree, with faint grooves hinting at a life long gone. As they delved deeper into research, they learned that this fossil was not just any relic, it was part of a creature that roamed the earth during the Jurassic period, a beast that was similar to the rhinoceros its time. Measuring nearly 18 feet in length, the vertebra revealed a wealth of information about its anatomy and lifestyle igniting a passion for paleontology in both men. Snapshots of life in Pompeii continue to emerge as archaeologists uncover new artifacts at the site that's been frozen in time since Mount Vesuvius erupted in 79 AD. No 16, an ancient city. It was 1748 when a group of explorers looking for ancient artifacts arrived in Campania and began to dig. They were young and excited to find out some treasure that may have changed their lives but they found it nearly changed the entire history. They were shocked to find that underneath all the dust and earth, there was an entire ancient city buried beneath the ashes. It was Pompeii, an ancient city of Rome, that was completely destroyed once by the eruption of volcanic Mount Vesuvius in 79. Pompeii was almost exactly as it had been almost 2,000 years before. Buildings were intact, skeletons frozen in place, and everyday objects littered the streets. Later, archaeologists even uncovered jars of preserved fruit and loaves of bread. This discovery shook the world as the horrible insights unearthed people's skeletons stuck in time, covered in thick layers of ashes. Even children were frozen in time while playing. At that time, the city was not mentioned as Pompeii. It was given its name in 1763, when Pompeii was unearthed from its centuries-long slumber. A vibrant tapestry of ancient Roman life revealed itself beneath the ash. Cobblestone streets, still lined with the ruts of chariots, wound through bustling marketplaces where merchants once hawked goods. Temples with grand columns stood sentinel, their faded frescoes whispering tales of worship and devotion. Shops adorned with colorful mosaics showcased wares from spices to pottery hinting at a thriving economy rich in culture and trade. The preserved graffiti on walls offered glimpses into daily life, from political slogans to love notes, revealing a society both dynamic and deeply human. Today, this lost city draws pilgrims and tourists alike, 
captivated by its haunting beauty and poignant history. Each step through Pompeii transports visitors back to a moment frozen in time, where the echoes of laughter, trade, and devotion still resonate, inviting all to ponder the resilience of the human spirit amidst tragedy. He says the ship is 515 feet long, and that matches the biblical account of being 300 cubits. Researchers have scanned the ground using a method called resistivity. No 15. The Noah's Ark. In November 2023, Archaeologists announced the finding of Noah's Ark. Recent claims of its discovery on Mount Ararat in Turkey have reignited interest in this ancient tale. Some explorers and archaeologists assert that they have found remnants of a vessel, claiming it aligns with the biblical descriptions of the Ark. The formation, visible at an altitude of around 4,000 meters, exhibits a distinct boat-like shape, measuring approximately 150 meters in length strikingly similar to the dimensions outlined in the book of Genesis. This discovery has sparked a flurry of excitement among some scientists and enthusiasts who argue that geological analysis suggests the site could be a man-made structure rather than a mere rock formation. They point to what appear to be wooden timbers embedded in the earth, proposing that these remnants could be from the ark itself, preserved in the mountain's icy embrace. However, Skepticism abounds. Many geologists and archaeologists maintain that the site is simply a natural rock formation shaped by centuries of erosion. Critics argue that the timbers identified are nothing more than fossilized trees or formations of basalt that resemble human-made objects. However, the discovery remains controversial, and more evidence is needed to claim this site as the possible landing site of Noah's Ark. No. 14 the lost golden city of Luxor. A groundbreaking discovery was highlighted when archaeologists unearthed an almost three zero 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 year old city beneath the sands of Luxor in Egypt. The year was 2020 when this ancient city was discovered, approximately dating back to the era of Amenhotep III, a pharaoh among the most powerful pharaohs of Egypt. The city was named Aten and was in the use of famous Tutankhamun. Famous Egyptologist Zahi Hawes led the team that found this incredible discovery. The dig revealed a large number of valuable archaeological finds, such as jewelry, colored pottery, scarab beetle amulets, and mud bricks bearing seals of Amenhotep III. The team began excavations on the west bank of Luxor near the Valley of the Kings. Archaeologists are hoping to get hidden knowledge about ancient Egyptian lifestyle through this discovery. This creature really did exist around 75 million years ago and it was called Pliosaur. And a fossil of its enormous jaws has been now found off Dorset's Jurassic Coast. No 13. Crocodile Heads. During research, a team of archaeologists holding brushes in their hands, gradually invading some of the most secret tombs in Egypt. With ongoing research, suddenly they found something that brings immense shock to them. Unlike any other mummified objects found in Egypt this time, there were no crocodile heads buried under sand for centuries. Archaeologists have discovered these crocodile heads buried in an ancient necropolis. While it's well known that ancient Egyptians were partial to mummifying obscure animals and placing them in tombs, this is the first known case of reptile remains within the tombs of people. Interestingly, the crocodile heads were only wrapped in thin linen clothing, unlike other mummifying processes. This raised a question among archaeologists that what they have known about Egypt and its burial practices is much less than actual. Crocodile heads were found in the tombs of two ancient Egyptians, one dedicated to Chancellor Keti, a high-ranking official in the court of Mentuhotep II, and another attributed to a vizier at the pharaoh's court. This pair was clearly of high social status, indicating that the crocodile heads buried alongside them were something of a prized possession in this period of Egyptian history. No. 12. A Ferrari. In December 1974, the two cruises went out for dinner on their anniversary, and Rosendo parked his Ferrari at some distance from the restaurant. He and the missus went to dinner, and at the end of it, received the much unwelcome surprise of finding the car gone, was an insurance claim. Nearly four years later, in February 1978, after heavy rains, the dino was found buried in front of a house in central LA, in what was believed to have once been a pool. It had been wrapped in tarp, loose plastic, and even blankets, with towels shoved up the exhaust to keep worms and water out. Whoever had buried it there clearly did not want it damaged. It emerged that Cruz had actually hired the thieves to steal his precious Dino so he could claim insurance on it 
and split the money among themselves. The thieves were supposed to bury it until Cruz filed the claim, then return for it, take it apart, and dump it wherever they could. But unfortunately, thieves forgot where they dumped the car. Soon in an auction, this car was brought by real estate businessman Brad Howard. Hitting the auction block, a prehistoric discovery that is expected to fetch millions of dollars. It is a T-Rex skull, well-preserved, and shows signs that the dinosaur... No, 11 Machimosaurus Rex. The discovery of Machimosaurus Rex, a fascinating addition to the dinosaur roster, has captured the attention of paleontologists and enthusiasts alike. Discovered in the rich fossil beds of what is now North America, this predator lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 70 million years ago. Its discovery adds a new chapter to our understanding of prehistoric ecosystems. This formidable creature measured around 30 feet in length, boasting a streamlined body that hinted at its predatory lifestyle. With a long, slender snout filled with sharp teeth, Machimosaurus rex was likely a top-tier predator, preying on smaller dinosaurs and marine life. Its robust flippers suggested that it was well adapted to an aquatic environment, allowing it to glide through ancient seas with agility and grace. Some researchers believe that its diet included fish, cephalopods, and possibly smaller marine reptiles, making it a versatile hunter. The habitat of Machimosaurus rex was dynamic, characterized by coastal environments, estuaries, and shallow seas. These regions were teeming with life, from the smallest organisms to larger marine reptiles, creating a rich food web. The presence of such a powerful predator indicates that these ecosystems were thriving, supporting a diverse array of species. The discovery of Machimosaurus rex has prompted renewed interest among researchers. Initial findings sparked debates about its classification, as some scientists questioned whether it belonged to a new genus or was closely related to known species. Ongoing research is focusing on its evolutionary lineage, which could provide insights into the adaptive strategies of marine reptiles during the Cretaceous period. Moreover, the fossil remains of Machimosaurus rex have contributed to our understanding of prehistoric climate and environmental changes. Number 10 Sandstone. In Norway, during an excavation in 2021, archeologists made a remarkable discovery as they found a strange sandstone at Tia Fjord, west of Oslo. This oldest ruin dates back to the early Iron Age, around 1000 BCE. These ancient structures, primarily composed of stone, offer a glimpse into the lives of the early Norse people who inhabited this region. Among the most intriguing aspects of these ruins are the inscriptions carved into the stones. These inscriptions, which feature runes and symbols, suggest that the site held significant cultural and possibly religious importance. They hint at a society deeply connected to its environment, likely engaged in early forms of agriculture and trade. The runes may reference local deities or ancestral figures, indicating a complex belief system. But dig with a difference. Unearthing statues described as rare, remarkable, incredible. The head and shoulders of a woman, a bust of a man, plus the head from a statue of a child. No nine bronze statues in Norway, an extraordinary discovery that has captivated archeologists and history enthusiasts alike. These remarkable statues were unearthed in 2021 during a routine archeological survey in Ostfold, an area rich in ancient history. Dating back over 2,500 years, these bronze figures are believed to represent various deities or important figures from a bygone era. Their discovery provides an invaluable window into the rituals and beliefs of ancient Norse culture. The process of uncovering these statues was meticulous. Archaeologists found the status when researching at the ancient spa of Spain. Once revealed, the intricate details of each statue showcased skilled craftsmanship, making them even more significant. Among these statues, researchers found a goddess of health with a serpent. What makes this discovery so rare is that bronze statues from this period are exceedingly scarce. Most artifacts from the Bronze Age in Scandinavia are made of stone or wood, making these bronze pieces exceptionally valuable. In this extremely rare discovery, along with bronze statues, hundreds of coins and unscripted tokens were also found. No eight. 66 million year old fossil. Unimaginable fossils almost 66 million years old were discovered by paleontologists, 
and this dreadful bread can chill down to your spine. An enormous sea creature that ruled the oceans with its astonishing 30-foot-long body. Named Thalassotitan Atrox, this giant creature was also named the Dreadful Titan. Its fossilized remains were found in Morocco, lying next to the remains of its last meal. This sea monster was born when Komodo dragon crossed with a great white shark, crossed with a T-Rex, crossed with a killer whale. Its jaws filled with sharp teeth were torn and have marks on them, which proves that this giant sea monster attacks everything in the ocean, making them its prey. Dinosaur footprints have been discovered in Dinosaur Valley, State Park near Fort Worth. A summer of drought left a local riverbed dried up, revealing around 60 of the footprints. No seven, 113 million old footprints of dinosaurs. Thanks to drought, giant dinosaur tracks have been found in a dried up creek bed at Dinosaur Valley State Park in Glen Rose. These footprints were discovered to be 113 million years old. Imagine when people in Dinosaur Valley State woke up one day and found real footprints on land. This proves that once this land was used by dinosaurs for their activities. This also indicates the famine and drought that hit Earth during this long time period. Following this discovery, archaeologists looked for another dinosaur track, and they succeeded. Many prehistoric dinosaur tracks are now visible in said park. No. 6. Medieval Water Tunnel in Winchester Hemisphere In an extraordinary archaeological find in the Winchester Hemisphere, a remarkable water tunnel has been uncovered, shedding light on the area's rich history. This ancient conduit dug by hand over centuries spans several miles and showcases the incredible engineering skills of its creators. Excavation teams comprising dedicated archaeologists and volunteers worked tirelessly to uncover this hidden gem, delving deep into the earth to reveal secrets long buried. Among the discoveries, were the remains of a two-story building adjacent to the tunnel, believed to have served as a vital hub for local trade and community gatherings. The tunnel itself was once a critical water source, channeling fresh water to the surrounding areas, supporting agriculture, and sustaining life in the region. This finding not only highlights the ingenuity of past civilizations, but also opens new avenues for research into their daily lives and societal structures. As experts continue to study this remarkable site, it promises to reshape our understanding of Winchester's historical landscape. No. Five oldest human footprints in Mexico. In a groundbreaking discovery near White Sands National Park, researchers unearthed ancient, fossilized human footprints that date back approximately 23,000 years. This find provides invaluable insights into early human life in North America during the last Ice Age. The footprints were preserved in a layer of gypsum, which formed a unique geological environment that captured and protected them over millennia. Scientists used a combination of stratigraphic dating and radiocarbon techniques to establish the age of the footprints, analyzing the surrounding sediment layers for context. These remarkable imprints reveal a wealth of information about the movement and behavior of early humans, indicating that they traversed this landscape in search of food and resources. The discovery not only challenges previous notions about human migration patterns, but also enriches our understanding of the adaptability and resilience of our ancestors in a changing environment. This finding at White Sands is a testament to the deep connection between humans and their natural surroundings, illuminating a pivotal chapter in our history. Now, a new analysis shows that the six-ton iconic altar stone at the heart of Stonehenge originated from northeastern Scotland rather than southwest Wales. No four. Ukrainian Stonehenge. In a captivating discovery, a site dubbed the Ukrainian Stonehenge has emerged, located near the village in northwestern Ukraine. Dating back over 5,000 years, this megalithic structure comprises massive stone blocks, arranged in a circular formation, reminiscent of its more famous counterpart in England. The stones, some weighing several tons, stand tall against the landscape their sheer size and alignment suggesting a sophisticated understanding of astronomy and ritualistic practices among the ancient builders. The enigmatic nature of this site has led many to speculate about its purpose. Locals and historians alike regard it as a potential doorway between the earthly realm and the divine. The positioning of the stones aligns with celestial events, such as solstices and equinoxes, hinting at a deep spiritual significance. This has fueled theories that the structure served as a sacred site for rituals, possibly to honor deities or ancestors, establishing a connection to the cosmos. The mysterious appearance of the stones, 
often shrouded in folklore, has sparked imaginations and raised questions about the people who constructed them. Their intentions remain elusive, but the site is believed to have been a gathering place for ceremonies, marking the changing seasons and celebrating life cycles. Today, the Ukrainian Stonehenge stands not only as a testament to ancient ingenuity, but also as a symbol of humanity's eternal quest to bridge the gap between the physical and the spiritual world. As researchers continue to study this site, it offers a fascinating glimpse into the rich cultural heritage of prehistoric Europe, inviting visitors to ponder the mysteries that lie within. No, three golden-tongued mummy. A remarkable archaeological find in Egypt, a mummy with a golden tongue was discovered, capturing the attention of researchers worldwide. The excavation took place in the Saqqara Necropolis, an area renowned for its rich burial sites. The Golden Tongue It is believed to have been placed in the mummy's mouth as part of ancient Egyptian funerary practices aimed at ensuring the deceased could speak in the afterlife. Egyptians believed that the ability to communicate with the gods and navigate the underworld was essential for a successful journey after death. This mummy, like others from the period, underwent an intricate mummification process involving embalming, removal of internal organs, and wrapping in linen. The use of a golden tongue not only signifies the importance of speech in the afterlife, but also reflects the deceased's high status, as gold was associated with immortality and the divine. This discovery not only enhances our understanding of ancient burial customs, but also highlights the rich symbolism embedded in Egyptian mummification practices. Along with this mummy, two mummies were also found, one of which was wearing a death mask, and the other one is still under analysis. No too strange pottery. In July 2021, a team of archaeologists from the Hebrew University of Israel and Marcy University found a piece of pottery during an excavation. The unique pottery was inscribed with the name of Jubal, a figure whose name came in biblical texts. This pottery, possibly dating back to 1100 BC, was used to store oil, perfumes, and medicine. The coffin lid was unsealed and ever so carefully lifted off. Inside, a perfectly intact mummy, wrapped in fabric with a bit of skull showing. No one pharaoh's tomb. The discovery of the tomb of high priest Wati at the Saqqara necropolis marks a significant archaeological achievement in Egypt. Unearthed in 2020, this tomb dates back to the fifth dynasty of the Old Kingdom, around 4,400 years ago. It features stunning wall reliefs and intricate carvings that depict various scenes, including offerings and rituals performed for the deceased. Wati, who served as the high priest of the sun god Ra, was clearly a person of considerable status, as evidenced by the lavish decorations and the elaborate architecture of the tomb. Researchers found hieroglyphics that provide insights into the religious practices and daily life of the time. The tomb's well-preserved condition allows scholars to explore the funerary customs of ancient Egyptians, revealing their beliefs about the afterlife and the significance of priestly roles in society. This discovery enriches our understanding of Egypt's rich cultural heritage, shedding light on the complexity of religious practices during the Old Kingdom and the importance of high priests in ancient Egyptian society. See you in the next video. This morning, new research on fossilized footprints discovered in New Mexico reveal humans from nearly 23,000 years ago. Researchers used radiocarbon dating to study seeds from water plants found near the footprints. Scientists argued that the dates needed to be validated with more research. Footprints recently discovered in the Grand Canyon are the oldest ever found in the park. You can see them here. Heather Mills sat down with the geologist at UNLV who's studying those tracks. She joins us live with more on really is a one of a kind discovery. But Alan Krill, a geologist from Norway, was leading a group of students on a simple hiking trip when they stumbled upon an incredible sight fossilized footprints of creatures that had walked the earth over 313 million years ago. But it wasn't just their age that was astonishing. These prints revealed surprising details about Earth's distant past, and even hinted at its future. Imagine walking on the same ground as creatures that lived millions of years before humans existed. These footprints are the oldest evidence of vertebrate animals, creatures with backbones, found in the Grand Canyon. Before this discovery, no one knew such ancient animals 
had ever roamed this part of the world. The fossils, buried in rock layers for millions of years, were only uncovered when the cliff collapsed, bringing them into the light. This find is important, not just because it's old, but because it helps scientists better understand how life has evolved on Earth over time. It gives clues about ancient climates, environments, and even the behavior of the creatures that left those tracks. Every fossil discovery like this fills in missing pieces of Earth's history, helping us see a more complete picture of the past. The students with Krill must have been in awe, witnessing history come to life right before their eyes. For a geologist, finding something like this is a career-defining moment. It's a reminder of how much our planet changes, and how even a routine hike can lead to discoveries that change our understanding of the world. The mystery of the Great Unconformity. In the Grand Canyon, there's something called the Great Unconformity, a gap in the rock layers that represents a missing billion years of Earth's history. It's as if a huge chunk of the past has vanished. How could something like this happen? Some scientists think that during a time called Snowball Earth, when most of the planet was covered in ice, glaciers scraped away the rock, erasing a billion years worth of evidence. Others believe that no new rock formed during that icy period. This gap is more than just a mystery. It helps us understand the power of natural forces like glaciers and erosion. It also raises questions about what other secrets Earth might be hiding deep within its layers. The Great Unconformity reminds us that there's still so much we don't know about our own planet. Imagine standing at the edge of the Grand Canyon, looking down at rock layers that tell stories from billions of years ago, except for the part where the story suddenly stops. This missing billion years is a humbling reminder of nature's power and how little we still understand about our world. Well, the National Park Service has reopened the Cave of the Domes inside the Grand Canyon. The cave, which has previously been the only one open to the public, has since been closed since the end of March to investigate the area as a possible source for a hantavirus pulmonary syndrome exposure. The Cave of the Domes and Other Hidden Wonders The Grand Canyon is full of fascinating places, like the Cave of the Domes, the only cave open to the public. Located near Horseshoe Mesa, this cave is known for its impressive limestone formations shaped by natural forces over millions of years. In the early 1900s, Visitors carved their names into the cave walls, leaving behind a piece of history. Today, instead of carving into the walls, visitors leave their mark by signing a guest book. In another part of the canyon, scientists discovered an ancient fossil in the Kaibab Formation, dating back 270 million years when the Grand Canyon was under the sea. This fossil, from a sea creature related to modern squids, offers a glimpse into the marine life that once thrived in the canyon. The Grand Canyon is also home to fascinating cultural artifacts. In 1933, explorers found small figurines made of twigs in the canyon's caves. These delicate sculptures, often shaped like animals, date back 2,000 to 4,000 years and may have been used as toys, art, or even religious symbols. They give us a peek into the lives of the ancient people who once lived in the canyon. Environmental threats and modern discoveries. Today, the Grand Canyon faces environmental threats. Uranium mining near the park is a major concern, as it could harm local water sources and wildlife. Though the area is protected as a national park, some mining activities continue, raising fears of long-term damage to this natural wonder. But the Grand Canyon is not just about the past, it's also about the present. In August 2023, water near Phantom Ranch, located at the bottom of the canyon, tested positive for harmful E. coli bacteria. This discovery was a reminder that even in the most beautiful natural places, risks still exist. It highlighted the importance of taking precautions, like boiling water from natural sources, to stay safe while exploring the outdoors. The Grand Canyon is also a place of strange and spooky discoveries. In the caves of the canyon, scientists found tiny creatures called pseudoscorpions. At first, they thought these creatures were new species of scorpions, but after seven years of study, they realized these critters were something else entirely. Unlike regular scorpions, these animals don't have stingers. Instead, they have poisonous pincers. And because they live in total darkness, they don't even have eyes. Newly discovered footprints in New Mexico are turning the scientific world on its head. Yeah, these fossilized prints were found at the edge of White Sands National Park, scientists confirming the ancient stories hidden in the canyon. Throughout the Grand Canyon, ancient fossils and rock art tell the stories of the creatures and people who lived there long ago. Horseshoe Canyon, just outside the Grand Canyon, is famous for its rock art, some of which is as big as a person and dates back thousands of years. 
these ancient drawings show that early humans once hunted big animals like mastodons and mammoths. During the last ice age, giant animals roamed the Grand Canyon, including the Shasta ground sloth, which could grow as large as four tons. In some caves, scientists have even found fur and droppings from these massive creatures, perfectly preserved for over 11,000 years. He canyons ongoing mysteries. The Grand Canyon is not just a vast chasm in the earth. It's a place filled with countless geological, biological, and archaeological mysteries that continue to puzzle scientists and explorers. Despite being one of the most studied natural wonders on the planet, the Grand Canyon still holds many secrets, some of which may never be fully understood. From its formation to the ancient creatures and humans that once called it home, the Grand Canyon is an open book of history, but many of its pages remain unread. The mystery of its formation. One of the most significant mysteries about the Grand Canyon is the precise timeline and process of its formation. While it's widely accepted that the Colorado River carved the canyon over millions of years, scientists still debate the exact timeline. Some researchers believe that the canyon is around five to six million years old while others suggest that parts of it could be as old as 70 million years. What adds to the complexity of this mystery is the role of tectonic activity, volcanic eruptions, and erosion in shaping the canyon. The landscape of the Grand Canyon is a patchwork of different layers of rock, each telling a story of a different time period. However, understanding how and when these layers were exposed and eroded remains a puzzle. The canyon's formation is a testament to the slow, powerful forces of nature, but the exact sequence of events that led to its current shape is still being pieced together by geologists. Fossils of Unseen Creatures the discovery of the ancient footprints in the Grand Canyon is just one example of the ongoing paleontological mysteries that exist within the canyon's layers. While these footprints provide a glimpse into the life of ancient reptiles and amphibians, scientists believe that there are many more fossils waiting to be uncovered. The canyon's rocks contain fossils from a variety of geological periods, ranging from marine life that once inhabited ancient seas to early land-dwelling creatures. One of the intriguing questions is whether even older or more complex life forms once lived in the area. The Grand Canyon's rock layers span a wide range of geological time, and while some fossils have been discovered, large gaps remain in the fossil record. These gaps raise the possibility that unknown species of plants or animals could have lived in the region during periods for which no fossil evidence has yet been found. 113 million years ago, two animals crossed a sand dune in what would become the Grand Canyon, and now paleontologists say that chance crossing has been preserved as the National Park's oldest fossilized vertebrate tracks. The Ancient Human Presence Another fascinating mystery involves the early human inhabitants of the Grand Canyon. Archaeological evidence suggests that humans have been living in and around the canyon for at least 12,000 years, but many questions remain about how these ancient peoples survived in such a harsh environment. The ancestral Puebloans were one of the earliest known civilizations to live in the region, leaving behind ruins, pottery, and tools. However, much of their history is still shrouded in mystery. Why did these early civilizations suddenly abandon their settlements? What caused the shift in population, and where did these ancient peoples go? There are also theories suggesting that other, even older human civilizations may have existed in the canyon, but conclusive evidence has yet to be found. One of the most puzzling aspects of the Grand Canyon's human history is the presence of rock art, or petroglyphs, etched into canyon walls. These ancient symbols and drawings provide clues about the daily life, spiritual beliefs, and cultural practices of the early peoples who lived there. However, many of these symbols remain undeciphered, and their true meaning is unknown. Were they meant to tell a story, or were they a form of communication? The canyon's rock art remains a silent testament to the people who once lived there, but their voices are long gone, leaving modern researchers to guess at their significance. Hidden Cave Systems The Grand Canyon is home to numerous hidden cave systems, some of which have only recently been discovered or explored. These caves are often found tucked away in the canyon's steep walls, making them difficult to access. However, they may contain untold secrets about the ancient environments and peoples who once inhabited the region. Some of the cave systems contain stalactites, stalagmites, and mineral formations, offering insights into the canyon's climate and geological history. There are also rumors 
rumors and stories of undiscovered cave systems that could hold significant archaeological or paleontological treasures such as the remains of ancient animals or even human artifacts. The potential for discovering new species of insects or bacteria in these caves is also an exciting prospect for scientists. Additionally, these cave systems could hold clues to the water sources that sustained early life in the canyon. Underground springs and hidden rivers may have been essential for both animals and humans who lived in the area thousands of years ago. As exploration of these caves continues, they may provide answers to long-standing questions about the canyon's ecosystem and how it has evolved over time. Humans were walking across North America more than 20,000 years ago after human footprints were found at the White Sands National Park. Geological oddities. Throughout the canyon, there are unusual geological formations that defy easy explanation. One of the most famous is the Great Unconformity, a gap in the geological record where billions of years of rock layers are missing. This strange phenomenon can be seen in several places within the Grand Canyon, and scientists are still trying to understand how such a massive amount of time could have simply disappeared from the rock record. Theories range from tectonic shifts to massive erosion events, but the true cause remains unknown. The Grand Canyon also features unique rock formations, such as Vishnu Schist, some of the oldest exposed rocks on Earth, estimated to be over 1.7 billion years old. These ancient rocks, found deep within the canyon, are a window into the Earth's early history, but the processes that shaped them are still a topic of research and debate. Another geological oddity is the presence of ancient lava flows that cascaded into the canyon long after it began forming. These flows created natural dams, altering the course of the Colorado River for a time. What remains unclear is how exactly these lava flows interacted with the river's erosive power and whether they played a role in shaping certain parts of the canyon. The Canyon's Ecosystem the Grand Canyon's ecosystem is another ongoing mystery. With its extreme climate variations, from scorching desert heat at the bottom to cool forested rims, the canyon is home to a surprising variety of plant and animal species. Some species, like the kaibab squirrel and the California condor, are unique to the region. However, scientists are still working to understand how these species evolved to thrive in such a diverse and sometimes hostile environment. One particular mystery involves the plants that grow on the canyon's steep walls. Some species of plants seem to grow in near-impossible conditions, clinging to the sheer rock faces with minimal soil and water. How these plants have adapted to such extreme conditions is still not fully understood. Furthermore, the canyon's remoteness has allowed many species to remain isolated for thousands of years, leading to unique evolutionary developments. The ongoing study of these species may reveal new insights into how life adapts to challenging environments. The Grand Grand Canyon, a natural enigma. In many ways, the Grand Canyon is an ongoing mystery, an ever-evolving enigma that continues to challenge our understanding of natural history, geology, and human civilization. Each discovery made within its depths, whether it's fossilized footprints, hidden caves, or archaeological artifacts, adds another piece to the puzzle, but many more pieces remain missing. As scientists continue to study the canyon, they are constantly reminded that nature holds many secrets, some of which may never be fully revealed. The Grand Canyon stands as a testament to the Earth's incredible history, a place where the past, present, and future intersect in a landscape that continues to captivate and mystify those who explore its depths. The Grand Canyon is a place of both breathtaking beauty and deep historical significance. From fossils that are billions of years old to ancient human artifacts, it offers endless opportunities for discovery. As we continue to explore this magnificent landscape, who knows what other secrets it may reveal? Could this shocking discovery in the Grand Canyon be part of a hidden truth that's been kept from us? Or is it just a wild story meant to scare us. What aren't we being told? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing stories about our world.